Okay, so I'm gonna do this video here about applying Pond Shield on your ice, uh, your chest freezer uh, cold plunge. I've seen a lot of videos on um, applying the Pond Shield, but none specific to the to the chest freezer. So I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna take my time. I've been sort of delaying this process for a couple days because I wanted to make sure. I mean, I was ready, <laughs> had the energy because it's not gonna be easy, but. It's gonna look good. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta take off this uh, lid so we can apply the pond shield on the top. It's just gonna be easier if the lid's off. Okay, I got all the screws loose. Should be able to just slide this up, pop it right off. A little harder than it seems. Okay, I was gonna keep the screws in, just pop it up. Might as well just take the screws out now. It's super easy. <sighs> now we got easy access. Now the next step is to just scuff the paint, not to the metal. Um, they said 60, 60 seems too, too gritty to me. So I'm gonna use 80. You just wanna get the paint scuffed up a bit. Okay, I got some 80 grit sandpaper here. You wanna do the tops, do the sides, scuff up the water weld a little bit. But like I said, don't go through to the paint because that will attract rust. So I'm gonna just lightly scuff this. Okay. And then after, uh, get that all lightly sanded and I mean lightly sanded the other day I started sanding with 60 grit scratched through to the metal a bit so I had to get a little bit of primer to seal those couple scratches up because I don't want any rust so after this you want to clean it really well vacuum then wipe it down with some you know just just some water and stuff just to get as much dust as you can can out of there so let's get that done Okay, so then uh, got it all sanded down, wiped it all down, got rid of any dust, made sure there's no blemishes anywhere. Cause like I said, I want this to uh, want this to look really beautiful too, not just you know form and function. So it looks pretty good now. I'm gonna let it just sit for a bit. This is really tiring work, so I'm gonna take a quick 10 minute break. I'm gonna get right back. We're gonna start with the first little little bit of uh, punch up. Okay, so the ordinary um, directions say two cups, part A, one cup, part B. Part B is the hardener. I'm just uh, dumbing it down halfway. So half a cup of part B, do one cup of part A. And then this is optional but they say it makes it, uh, the, the spreading out way smoother. So this is 99% uh, pure isopropyl. You can use 180 proof vodka if you have. But basically you mix, uh, well for my, for my thing, half a cup part B, one cup part A, which is the coloring. And this is 1 16th of a cup, which is 15 milliliters. So you mix the alcohol, <clears throat> and the hardener together first. And then we add the, uh, the color after. So I'm gonna mix this up right now. Okay, so now we got the color in. 
I chose competition blue. That one just looked cool. So we're gonna mix this for a, a good couple minutes here. I wanna make sure that hardener is stirred in nice, nice and even. So about two minutes. Okay, so I bought a bunch of little disposable paint trays for this. But you know what, I'm gonna use all of this for sure. So I'm just gonna dump it in here. Try to spread it around evenly from top, you know, start with the bottom. And I'll do the sides. So we're gonna try to get the bottom done with this um, cup and a half worth, which will probably be good. So let's, uh, let's get this going. Okay, always have some paper towel with you. I'm gonna use a roller brush. Not foam, it needs to be fabric or a cloth so it doesn't rip off in this thing. So um, let's get this dumped. Okay, let's start rolling. A little bit sticky. Roller works okay. Try not to get drips where you don't want to paint. Try to get it evenly spread out, even though you're doing a second coat. Don't want your first coat to look nice and tight, even. Then you're gonna have little, little, little spots here and there. That's fine.
So another way you can do this is with a, with a squeegee I've heard, which might, which might be good for the bottoms. Not sure how it would do on the top of the sides, but uh, Okay, so that's right, um, about a cup and a half, we'll do the bottom. So let's mix up some more. Okay, so we got the bottom done. Happy enough with it. It'll be a second coat anyway, so now we're gonna do the sides. Okay, first coat done. You're gonna see little spots like that, that's fine. I'm gonna get it in the second coat here. Thing you gotta just sort of watch out for is drips on the walls. I've had to uh, I just touch up drips here and there because it, it is supposed to be self leveling, but um, overall, not too shabby. So I am going to take a well-deserved rest before the second coat, so I'm happy with the first coat. Okay, second coat. I'll tell you right now, second coat is way nicer than the first. Stands to reason. Oh, this thing is shining nicely. So I had two Two kits of pawn shield. This is a basically a 20 cubic foot freezer. So I still probably have, I don't know, maybe half of, of the other kit that I got. So um, more than enough here. Looks freaking awesome. 